वेलकम वंस अगेन वेलकम टू दिस सेशन बाय पाथफाइंडर फॉर मी इफ यू आर अट इसनेट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री एक्सपेरेंट स्टे विथ मी फॉर द नेक्स्ट फिफ्टीन मिनट्स एंड वी विल डिस्कस अ फ्यू इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फॉर द जनरल नॉलेज सेक्शन ऑफ डिसनेट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री now these questions are modeled they are based or they are very similar to the kind of questions that have been asked in tisnet exam year after year but before we start here is something for you if you are looking at some strategy related input for your preparation you can just subscribe to our channel pathfinder for me scan this qr code and subscribe if you are looking for some content related to quantitative aptitude or logical reasoning you can subscribe to our channel mend your maths you can also join our whatsapp group and telegram channel for the same if you have any queries regarding your preparation feel free to contact us on 9343921347 or 9522929268 details of our courses for tisnet are available on our website www.pathfinderforme.com with this background let us go to our first question the earliest evidence of rice cultivation comes from which of the following valleys so central ganga valley beland valley gomal valley or bolan valley the correct answer will be beland valley now where is this beland valley really uh, situated it is situated near allahabad rice cultivation is a very old uh, phenomena in india and china and currently there is a dispute between china and india whether the earliest cultivation of rice happened in china or happened in india both the sides claiming uh, the chinese side stating that rice cultivation for the first time happened in yangtze river basin river valley whereas the indian side claims that the rice cultivation for the first time started in belan valley and then in the ganga valleys so so there is a debate as i just told you rice is also known as oriza sativa so this is the earlier this is the uh, this is another name for what we commonly know as rice next question the famous minakshi amman temple in madurai was built during which dynasty pandyas cholas cheras or pallavas so all of you would be aware of this temple located in madurai and it was built during the reign of pandya dynasty you might be aware that in tamil nadu there were three ruling families which ruled the ancient era of tamil nadu the cheras the cholas and the pandyas out of them pandyas were responsible for building the meenakshi amman temple madurai so the temple is located in madurai city on the banks of vaigai river it was built by kulasekara pandya he started building the temple and he built the first few parts of the temple and it was started basically in the late 12th or very early 13th century it is also known as the meenakshi sundareshwar temple so the main deity of this temple is meenakshi next gandhar school of art is related to which of the following dynasties your options are shakas kushans guptas and greeks the correct answer is kushans now as the name suggests gandhar school of art it flourished in northwestern part of ancient india and when i use the word ancient india basically the northwestern region of pakistan and the most of afghanistan that is where this art form flourished now what is so special about this art form number 1 it was influenced by greek and macedonian art so here it flourished between 1st century bc to 5th century ad in northwest pakistan and afghanistan and under kushan empire now the capital city of kushan empire was peshawar which is in pakistan all of you would be aware it was influenced by greek and macedonian art and they used bluish gray or gray sandstone for their sculpture 
नेक्स्ट वेर डिड सुरेंद्र नाथ बैनर्जी फाउंड द इंडियन नेशनल कॉन्फ्रेंस इन 1884 नाउ द ऑप्शंस आर मद्रास बॉम्बे कैलकटा एंड लंडन द करेक्ट आंसर इज कैलकटा सो देर वर टू कॉन्फ्रेंसेस एंड वन ऑफ द कॉन्फ्रेंसेस वाज इन 83 एंड अनदर वाज इन 87 और 88 बट दिस पर्टिकुलर कॉन्फ्रेंस द फर्स्ट वन was in 1884 in calcutta and these two conferences led to the formation of indian national congress at that time the party that took part in the indian freedom struggle so surendranath banerjee and anand mohan bose both were the principal founders of indian national conference next during whose era the agra canal was finished your options are akbar jahangir bahadur shah zafar and the british period the correct answer is british period in fact it was built during this period and completed in 1874 so the work started in 1868 and the work was completed in 1864 quite a long time so it starts the canal starts from okhla in delhi and ends up by joining utanga river which is 27 kilometers below agra as i told you the work was completed in 1874 during the british period earlier on this canal was used for both navigation and irrigation but now the navigation has been stopped in fact since 1904 there has been no navigation on this channel or along this channel but irrigation yes so we have number of players in a team of water polo is and your options are 5 6 7 and 8 so water polo is like a game of football where you don't use legs but hands and it is played in inside a swimming pool or 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 any water body so instead of using your legs you are using hands to throw the ball so this is a game where there are seven players on each side so one of them is the goalkeeper and six are either attacking or defending their goal post so there must be seven number of players in the team of water polo another important point is it has been a part of olympics since 1900s so the game was created in 19th century in scotland and major rules were drafted by william wilson so he was a pioneer and the first set of rules related to water polo were played by him were made by william wilson i'm sorry next the headquarter of international olympic committee is at your options are uh, switzerland germany malaysia and uk the correct answer is lausanne switzerland now this is where the headquarters of olympic committee are located so the international olympic committee is basically a non governmental sports organization based in switzerland and it was founded in 1894 and is responsible for proper conduct of the winter and summer olympic games it has 104 active members and 445 or uh, sorry 45 honorary members and the current president is thomas back next goa was captured by portuguese in which of the following years your options are 1479 ad 1575 ad 1510 ad and 1600 ad so the correct answer is 1510 ad so it was governor albuquerque now he became a governor in 1509 and he was able to capture goa in the year 1510 ad next who became india's second grandmaster in chess after vishwanathan anand your probable answers are divyendu barya barua vidit gujarati krishnan sasikaran and pentala hari krishna the correct answer is divyendu barua now he is a second grandmaster in chess from india 
after Vishwanath Anand is based out of Kolkata. So he's the second person after Anand in India and the third Asian to become a Grand Master. So with this, we come to an end of this second session of Tisnet GK. In fact, fifth session of Tisnet GK. If you have any queries or questions, you can contact me straight away on this number 9826062415. Alternately, I have shared with you our uh, QR codes for our channels. You can also subscribe to our channels so that we may help you prepare. That's all. Thank you.